Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would love to have you uh, watch my videos and also please do like the video if you like the content of this video. Uh, if you're already been subscribed to my channel, then welcome back. Also do check out my Instagram account. I post my daily outfit pictures there and I hope you will like that too. Okay, let's jump into the video. As the title says, today's video is going to be a one year wear and tear slash review of my Givenchy Antigona bag. I bought this bag last January 2017 and um, I bought this in the small size. Yeah, so I bought it in the size small in the black color with the silver hardware. This bag um, has held up uh, really well. Um, I love all the aspects of this bag. I like it for its structure, for its uh, hard wearing uh, quality, for the leather, for the hardware, for the capacity, everything. I, I love everything about this bag. So let's talk about uh, 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 all the uh, features of this bag. Uh, this bag comes in like, a, this is like a, a pebbled leather. So you can see it's like a, yeah, that's better. So it's a pebbled leather. So with a chunky silver hardware. I like the hardware on this bag. I like how chunky it is and it's also very shiny and very sophisticated too. Uh, on the front, the, you can see the Givenchy logo on the front on this uh, leather padding. The, at the back, there is no zipper compartment or anything. So the outside shell of this bag, it's very clean. There is not nothing too much going around, like nothing like a tassel or anything. So if you like a clean structured bag, this is a great uh, option. Uh, moving on to the inside of the bag. There is a zippered compartment in the back. It's a generous uh, zipper compartment and it also has like a, the, the, same kind of same kind of uh, uh, zipper pull with the leather and the silver hardware but a smaller size and on the other side there are like it's very difficult to see because of the black interior so it is it has like two um, pockets slip pockets one of this much size and the other one of like this much size the two slip pockets so otherwise it is a bit pretty uh, big bag as you can see it all it opens up uh, really well it's a huge bag it's like a, like an open style bag there's not too much happening like there's no div divider or anything uh, there's not too much of uh, organization inside this bag I have not used any uh, bag organizer or anything for this specific one I like it to use as is I think this is this can be pretty much compared to the size of a uh, speedy 30 so this is my speedy 30 as you can see this is how the bag compares i think the speedy 30 is a little bit a teeny bit uh, larger than this one or no almost the same but uh, as and when i use it the height wise the width wise uh everything the this is pretty much compared to a this bag can be compared to a speedy 30. you see the bottom i it comes with the two um, leather uh, feet there is not much of any um, corner where as you can see it is very nice the bottom I don't see anywhere for that matter on the corners it has held up really well and even the outside uh, leather there is not too much scratch or dent or anything and as you can see, the strap is not uh, too long for a crossbody. It's a, uh, it's, it's, it can be, be, it is best worn as a shoulder bag. So this is a, this is a total length of the shoulder strap. So it can be, it is best worn as a shoulder bag rather than a crossbody bag. Okay, what else? Hmm. The bag may get a bit heavy because of the size you can end up you may end up putting in a lot of stuff inside the bag and the bag may get a little heavy but uh, i have not seen too much problem because the shoulder strap is very comfortable it sits very well on your shoulder so um it is not like a very uh, uncomfortable feel on your shoulder but still if, it's, if you're going to dump it too much you have to carry the weight when it comes to the carrying options there are three ways you can wear this bag you can carry it like a handheld bag or you can carry it like this on your arm 
uh, I usually don't carry it like this. I prefer to carry it like this. Other option, and the other option would be to carry it on your uh, shoulder. That is a great way of wearing this bag too. I like, I like to wear it both the ways, uh, like a handheld bag and also like a shoulder a shoulder bag. But my most preferred style is like a, a handheld bag as I wear it mostly for work. So when it comes to the places where I wear it, um, I wear it mostly uh, to work, and uh, sometimes I wear it for like a casual outing or so. When it comes to the storage of the bag, I usually store them. Uh, store I usually store it in its uh, dust bag and put it on a shelf, and I also uh, stuff it with a pillow, a small pillow like this. So it it holds its shape. I don't think it will lose its shape if I'm not going to stuff it with a pillow, but still I uh, do that to most of my bags, like two expensive bags like this. So I stuff it with a pillow. So when it comes to wear, we saw the bottom and the leather and the hardware and everything. Let me give you a closer look of the entire bag. It has held this uh, structure uh, really, really well. As you can see, there is nothing much. Um, going uh, like now no damage or anything or any uh, structure wear or anything to this bag this bag is pretty much in its uh, brand new condition so uh, that's all about this bag I if you if you're if you want to if you're looking to buy this bag I would highly recommend you to buy this bag because it's a great work bag it's a great day bag it's a great casual bag um, if you're a if you like to carry big bags for night out then it's a great night bag too uh, hope you found this video very helpful and see you guys next time. Ta-da, bye-bye.